Welcome to the University of Michigan Microlearning Program for the Surgical Clerkship. Today we are going to show you how to scrub. There are four main steps to the process. The first is to make sure you are wearing eye protection and to check your hands. The scrub starts by cleaning under the fingernails and proceeds by washing the fingers, hands, and forearms in quadrants. The rinsing process completes the scrub. When you approach the sink, you will be thinking all about not messing up the surgical scrub. I urge you to pause and remember eye protection and to rid your hands of watches and jewelry. Even before this, you should consider dropping your phone, ID badge, and pager on a desk in the room. Next, open an iodine or chlorhexidine scrub and place it on the sink in its wrapper. Grab the nail pick and clean under the fingernails, rinsing after each step. When you are done, discard the pick and grab the scrub. The scrub brush has a side with bristles and another with a soapy sponge. Wet your hands and arms and start by rubbing the bristles against the tips of your fingers 30 times. Do the same to the other hand and next, flip the sponge around and divide your hand into four sides. Clean each side 10 times. You'll then clean four sides of each finger 10 times. Staying on the same side, scrub four sides of the forearm 10 times each from the wrist to just past the elbow. If you need to re-wet the sponge to lather up more soap, you may do so. Repeat the process on the opposite hand and arm, and when you are done, discard the sponge in the trash can. The rinsing process is commonly done incorrectly, requiring a repeat scrub. You will need to enter the water at a steep angle so that the water runs down the forearm and off the elbow. If you need to repeat, do not go back and forth. Rather, re-enter starting at the fingers. Keep a close eye on the tips of your fingers so that you don't accidentally hit something, causing you to have to start over. Once you are rinsed, hold your hands upwards at a 45 degree angle and back into the room. The number one mistake many make is to forget to put on eye protection. Nurses will point this out and you may need to restart from the beginning. Many accidentally knock their hands while rinsing, again requiring that you start over. If you are tall, you will need to bend at the knees and waist to rinse properly. This process should take three to five minutes. You will see residents and surgeons scrubbing much faster than you and you will be eager to join them in the OR. Remember not to rush and to do this slowly and carefully as improper technique is associated with unnecessary morbidity such as surgical site infections.